Welcome to our Tuesday, February 16th special meeting. This is a budget workshop meeting, though we're going to have a very, you know, abbreviated introduction as it looks like we have Noah, <coughs> Mark, and myself here for selectmen, we have the town manager. We have, uh, let's see, we have the town librarian, town public works, we have the town finance manager, <coughs> and we have chief town with us is uh please stand with me and salute the flag <coughs> Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the united states of america the true republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all all right is uh, welcome everybody. Um, we'll get right to it. Is um, it looks like uh, first up we have the library. The library. Um, <clears throat> this is our first, not quite a year, but maybe a half year that we've had them on board. And um, I was telling Paula uh, at their meeting last week that this has been a, a really nice transition. Um, it, we've worked out a few bugs here and there, but uh, otherwise it's been a very smooth transition, um, except for the pandemic. I mean, it would be nice if people <coughs> get into the library, but uh, they've adjusted well to that as well. But on the budget, um, we're saving about just under $6,000 this year, but and that's with uh, full-time wages and part-time wages. Um, it's uh, just a slight increase in they're starting longevity, they're getting vacation time, which is something that they didn't do before. So it's quite a bit, uh, plus health insurance. It's just been some personnel changes, so things have dropped there. Um, overall, it's uh, we've got some uh, contracted services. We've asked for a little bit more money for different things, uh, building maintenance, it's just the minor stuff. The Library Association is picking up any major um, projects that uh, need to be done uh, to the building, so that's been a real plus. Um, our Public Works has done a nice job taking care of the plowing on this. Um, Lisa Vargas and uh, Sharon Kelly did a great job, they went through. He's, Sharon's first time through our budget process, but it's been, I think, pretty painless. Uh, but um, overall, like I said, there's a uh, just under $6,000 decrease to what we thought we would need from last year, so that, that's a good thing. Um, any questions on the library budget? Uh, maybe Sharon would my own. Hey, Sharon, do you have any input here? Um, I, I agree with everything Steve has said that the transition has been um, pretty pretty painless. It's a learning curve for the library, but we are functioning at top capacity in everything we can possibly do during this pandemic to serve the community anyway. And it's been um, tough having to have all this great stuff happening and the ability to do it and then having you know, the pandemic hit. But I think um, moving forward, you're going to see nothing but great things come from the library. And I am so appreciative of Steve and the Board of Selectmen for, you know, this vote of confidence to bring us on board and let us serve our community. I do want to show you, I don't want to take up your time, but I want to show you a little clip of um, what we've been doing during the pandemic. It's really just a few minutes and Terry can show you that just to give you an idea of what's happening down here on the hill, down from the hill. If you could share that. Mark, let me just 
stick your head in the door and just tell them that there's no sound. Yeah, there's no sound. Okay. Right. Oh, well. Um, my apologies. I'm not sure why the sound isn't working. It should be going through just like your channels go through as well. Okay, well, we will uh, see that at slide another time. <laughs> I'll send it to you by email. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the public is, it, I'm always amazed when I get reports from Sharon about all that they're doing and their numbers. It's always impressive, but I also get uh, a report usually from Ralph, uh, about all the upcoming things that are coming. And if the public hasn't seen that, they need to pay attention. Even with the pandemic, they're staying extremely busy. So, and, and giving a lot of information. So, it's great. A lot of good interest. Do any of the board members have questions of uh, the town manager, uh, Sharon? As, uh, all right. Well, thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. And Paula for being. Oh. Hey, Paula. <laughs> is, uh, all right, is, uh, we'll move on to the police budget. Tab number six. Yes, Chief. Number six. All right. Uh, this year, um, as, as all the departments, We've um, kept the request to a minimum, um, trying to keep the tax rate low. This year, we have um, increases to wages, which is across the board on, based on contract and negotiations, and then what we set for increases for non-union employees. Um, his part-time wages, you can see, drop down uh, over time. Um, is uh, up a little bit. But otherwise, um, there's not a heck of a lot of changes in the police budget. Um, the health insurance went up. Uh, that's basically for the first six months of the our budget year because the health care works on a calendar year. Um, and otherwise, it's they've held the line. And we're seeing a small increase, 3.2 percent. But um, they did ask for a few other items. Um, but the vast is given direction from the board that we tried to keep extras to a minimum. We're still funding uh, the, the uh, truck or car program this year coming. Um, and that's really just about what we're all we're doing this year. So. Chief Tom, would you like to have any uh, input here? Oh, uh, we went over this uh, with the town manager and finance, and uh, we understand the town is, um, again, trying to be financially responsible, and uh, we are as well. So we're uh, happy with what you have in front of you. Is, um, is, um, I, 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 quick question, uh, is uh, everything settling in on the uh, new, new uh, improvements on your station? Yes. Um, Every day uh, we're learning something something new. Uh, we've had a few small things come up, but um, they were quickly fixed. Uh, very, very pleased. It's working very well. And again, it must, be, it must be nice having the uh, cars in your uh, sally port on days like today. <laughs> it's really nice. Yes, it is. Especially well, with the cost of the cars now. <laughs> yeah. well, I had just one question I, I wanted to ask. The, there was a request for a DEA agent. Will that be available next year as well? Do you know? That program is ongoing unless the federal government cuts it, which I doubt. Um, that's something that um, will be available next year as well. Okay, good. Will he, Chief, would he, would he, um, would that, Mark, Mark you speak into the help mic. Oh, you got Can it. you hear me? Oh, I don't know, you had the other one. <laughs> Do you know that if whether the, the DE agent, would he fund himself? By, by bringing money in from drug busts, you think he can fund himself? Obviously, they can't guarantee because it's based off um, seizures. Uh, however, uh, they strongly over and over and over again state that it would um, fund itself. 
Any of the others? What, what would you think? 60% chance? 75% chance? Just trying to... I'm, I'm sorry, that was garbled. The, what, you think we got a 75% chance of him being able to fund himself? 50%? So, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Truthfully, Mr. Pendergrass, they uh, they state that it will. Obviously, they can't put something like that in writing. No, I know that, yeah. It is based on seizures, but uh, they actually said that um, they thought they'd make uh, the town of Berwick uh, happy with what they brought in. Oh. Any, any other questions from the selectmen, other selectmen? No? Steve, I do have one question. Uh, the lease payment that uh, was presented by the chief seems to be different than what you're you're proposing by about twenty five thousand dollars. What's that difference for? That and I'll, I'll talk to Lisa. I think that's because the uh, what we're replacing is a car that was totaled, so there's a uh, insurance money is going to be paying for uh, part of that. So it's a reduced from. Wrong on that, Lisa? Who you? There, there's a, there is a, um, an additional twenty thousand dollars in the line for the the lease payment for the car that we just replaced, which was the car that was totaled. So instead of having a separate article next year for the first lease payment of the police vehicle, we will, um, we just. Um, put the payment right into the lease payment because we already purchased the car. Okay, thank you. Yep. Any other questions from the selectmen? If not, I guess we move on to the public works in the transfer station. All right. Uh, public works. Um, Again, wages are all based on contract negotiations, what's in the contract. Um, so um, see a, a bit of an increase there. Um, there's also, uh, we've taken uh, a position uh, that we had funded last year for the recreation department. We were looking to put a, a part-time person, seasonal, in um, to take care of the memorial fields and other areas uh, mowing and things like that. We weren't able to fund it. Uh, we didn't get any applicants uh, for, for that last year, so we just didn't bother our crew, um, took the time and, and did it themselves. Uh, but it's always been a part-time position that we've had funded during the, for the summer. And um, Public Works also um, had somebody in there part-time. So we've taken a part-time position and we've created a full-time position out of it and they'll work for public works, but it will be shared with uh, the recreational department uh, doing maintenance up there and keeping an eye on that uh, property and taking care of it. So I, it's, it's really a, almost a wash. And we had funded it in two different departments. Otherwise, um, the, the health insurance for the Teamsters went up this year. Um, so. There's an increase there. Um, again, uh, we kept things pretty much the same all throughout. And there is a uh, lease payment in there. I put extra money in there because we were looking to uh, replace a 2002 uh, plow truck that we're not sure we're gonna be able to get a sticker on it. It's pretty old and it's rusted out through the body. But because we planned for the future, and we've been using stainless steel bodies or dump bodies, we save a little bit of money there because the dump body that we have, we can just transition it on to uh, the new truck body. Uh, but there are a few surprises because the price is a lot more than we anticipated. And the plow gear that we have, which is 18 years old or 19 years old, won't fit on the new truck body, which uh, we have to look and see if um, the price came in quite a bit more expensive than what I anticipated. So I'm going to have to uh, look around and before we finalize, I may add a little bit more money to that lease payment. But um, it's, we've got some older trucks that we, we need to get on track to replacement because they're 
salt raises the uh, cane with those um, chassis. Otherwise, uh, not a lot of change there. Thank you. Jody, welcome to the process. Is, uh, <laughs> your, first, your first budget with us. I hope it hasn't been too rough on you. Is, uh, uh, not, not too bad. I'm familiar with some back from home, but uh, haven't had a lot of time under my belt for, for this right. budget here for you guys. Um, is there anything you'd like to add? I think Steve covered pretty much what we had discussed. Uh, again, uh, you know, the four or five months that I've been here, I think I need a little more time to get a, a better feel and bigger picture of the whole situation. So, um, any any questions from the other selectmen for either the town manager or Jody on the uh, budget? Jody, this is Mark. Is is there a that new truck you want to buy, is that something that has to be done this year? Yeah, yeah, I, I believe it is. Uh, like like we had mentioned, uh, the the place where we get the trucks inspected had said that the frame is getting rusted and it may not even pass inspection next year. Is and, that the, uh, is that the uh, heavy truck or the, or the one ton? It's a heavy truck. It's a six-wheeler. Okay, yep. Yeah. You know, other requests were made for capital items, but like every other department, we've uh, kind of backed off a little bit. We are funding roads this year. It's 600000 uh, We're trying to stay on top of that uh, project and, and keep improving roads, which uh, needs to be funded if we're going to stay on track. So um, otherwise, uh, we've put a haul, hold on everything else that they were looking for. So... We, were, we actually were looking at an excavator. What we paid to rent one is about half the cost of a lease. Right. But it just didn't, we can't do it this year. We're just going to hold off. Any other questions of Steve or Jody on the uh, public works? If not, we'll go right to transfer station. If you look at the transfer station, uh, there's been some increases. Most of it is is in the disposal end of things. Yeah. We bumped up the uh, um, waste disposal hauling because um, we, you know, we're recycling and we're hauling more. We're pulling more cans because people are doing a good job recycling, uh, and we actually we're making less money on that. But and same with the uh, the uh, MSW, the, the stuff we throw into the hopper. Uh, prices have gone up on that as well. And the, and the amount that we're, how much, you know, we've tried to analyze why that is the case. And we're like, we're thinking that some of it is because of the pandemic and people are home and they're cleaning out their houses, barns, garages. Uh, so it's, I know Hokey says it's, he's a lot busier and we're seeing a lot more demolition and other materials coming across. Last year, our hazardous waste went up. We had a lot more hazardous waste. You'd think eventually hazardous waste day would produce less but it just continues to produce more <laughs> so um, it costs us more money so there we've seen a bit of an increase uh, which is a little bit more than I'd like but it's we have to pay the guy to get it out of the out of the transfer station so we saw well, the wood waste isn't there Jody some way we could stockpile a decent wood and then once a year bring in a chipper and, and chip it all up into mulch something like that <clears throat> that be any <clears throat> excuse me I don't see why that wouldn't be a problem. We can look into it for sure. See if it would save us some money. Yeah, we got a chipper. I don't know if you could chip uh, pallets and stuff with the chipper that we got at the, the public works, but uh, yeah. it's something we can actually entertain. Well, the big the big problem we have with the transfer stations, we don't have any area to to compile it. Um, with the, we do the brush, and he comes in and does that, and. Um, and then all the demolition wood and stuff that we take in, we just throw it into a can. And then they pay to get rid of it. And then you got to pay to get rid of it. You got to pay to have it pulled, and you got to pay to dump it. And most of that goes into a landfill. Um, other towns have enough room that they can build these mountains of materials. Um, and you, you, normally they don't have pressure treated wood or. Oh, well, these they're separated here. No, they're not. Pressure treated wood in the. In the Good demo. I thought I thought because there's two line items. Yeah, t there's there's recycling, yeah. which is everything but wood materials. It's your uh, milk containers, 
detergent containers, cardboard, things like that. Yeah. The um, demolition material is a little bit different. They just throw it all into one hopper and it goes to the landfill. A lot of towns have enough room and we don't have enough room. If you could look at other transfer stations that are collecting their wood debris, it's, it's amazing how much you get. And, and you could have a chipper come in and do it, but again, we don't have enough room. <laughs> yeah, don't have enough room on some Saturdays yeah, for the that's people for sure. there. You know, I, I keep, Perry, Ellsworth and I have talked numerous times about joining forces and having a much larger site um, out on Route 4, we thought, because uh, of the possible land, but we just can't seem to get anybody to agree that we, should, we can do that. I, I think you could do a heck of a lot more of uh, recycling and, and, getting, and, not, and cost saving money. Like these biofuel places, I, I know where I live, we chip amazing amount of wood debris in the piles like a mountain, and it's gone, and they sell it to uh, uh, biofuel. They sell bio too, they make Bach mulch out of it. Yeah. That kid just opened up on 236, on Route 4 there, the Doucet kid. Yeah. He, they're bringing in, got a huge chipper. Yeah. You know, things like that. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think he'd take wood waste. I'll ask him. I'll ask Chad. Yeah. I'll ask well, most of it, wood waste is, is burned. They, that's why they keep the uh, pressure treated wood out of there. And uh, anything that's got a heavy amount of glue, yeah. like the plywood and things like that. Uh, but uh, old front wooden furniture and things, they, we have people, that, it, our transfer station people are always after us to make sure we're not dumping you know, metal in there, hinges and things like that that might be on cabinets. But um, it just, and with what happened with China, our, our, our regular recycling waste, we're it's just not making any money. They stopped taking right. a lot of it. So uh, the market's not the same as it was five years ago. No. But, uh, Any questions from the other board members of uh, the transfer station budget? No. If not, I guess that wraps us up. Yeah, recreate. I would like to try her video again. She's going to try from her computer. Yeah, she can try it again. We got time. It is. Uh, we're going we're to try to uh, upload the uh, library video on a different computer. So take it away, Sharon. I'll give it a try. <laughs> and I don't see it. There it is. Can you see it? Yeah, yep. we can.
And we have sound. Oh, oh good. Oh, no, nope, we lost the sound. Did you lose it? Yep. Pictures there, no sound. Yeah, we lost no the sound, sound again. All right. Well, we tried. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Our next. Just send us the link. We'll watch it. Yeah. I shall. And it'll be on the library website. You can all awesome. see it there, too. Next right. meeting, we, we have a regular selectman's meeting, and uh, we'll do the fire department and the recreation. Uh, we moved her back uh, till next week, which will be a fairly short meeting. Uh, hopefully, a short meeting. But so, all right, all right. Any other questions? Any questions? Any comments? I'll take a motion to adjourn. Mark, say motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Do we have a second. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Thank you all. Aye. Have a good night, everybody.